Hey guys, what's up? It's Rebo here with uh, a video, an illustration video. Mm, you don't see those too often. I guess technically my last two were also illustration videos, but they were more about the things I was saying than the illustration. Uh, this one's probably more about the illustration. I don't really have anything to say. Nothing scripted or anything this time, so I guess I'll just wing it. Uh, what, what you're actually seeing is uh because on my previous channel i have a mayhem this is the character mayhem by the way uh mayhem this is view and uh on that channel uh mayhem's a pretty popular character it's a popular video and it's a popular illustration from the past that i did a long time ago uh many years ago so i thought hey you know what now that my comic's finished and I have time, I should see just how much I've improved. And this was one of my popular pieces back in the day that I kind of liked. Uh, I should try and redo it in my current style with skill and things. And I gotta say, I'm really damn pleased about how it turned out. Uh, I think it worked pretty damn well. Uh, I've improved a little bit. I'll, I'll, I'll say that. I'll say that. I've improved a little bit over these few years. Uh, shit, I think I was saying something, but I went on a tangent there and I totally forgot. So anyway, this is a proper illustration video. And it's been a while since I've done one of those. Uh, I, I figured that I would uh, do a voiceover and just kind of wing it, which is obviously not working very well so far. Because I didn't really want to just throw music or something on here. I mean, obviously the most appropriate thing to put... Like I did on my old channel video. I think I was talking about my old channel before I went on a tangent and forgot. So let's not do that again. On my old channel, uh, the video just has like eggs. Uh, the, th the, uh, the, the track by uh, Mayhem, Renard Queenston, if you don't know. Do you know what? Uh, links down below to Renard's channel. Mayhem is one of his personas who creates music, if you don't know. I don't think he's used this persona in a long time though, and that's kind of sad because I, I really liked, uh, I really liked the, uh, the housey stuff. It wasn't all great, but there was some really solid tracks in there. Eggs was probably the best one, I think, in everybody's opinion. And that's just the track that I used to go over the previous illustration, and since then I've gotten to the point where I'm like, yeah, that's... It, uh, I mean, sure, he probably wouldn't mind. It's not like I'm taking anything away from him or anything like that. But it's kind of lame just using someone else's stuff without permission, so... I figured I should do a voiceover with the audio, the appropriate Mayhem audio, just uh, really quiet in the background so you can barely hear it. Just, just to be there. It's not exactly a huge improvement, but... You know, you want the audio to be appropriate, and it's not like... Jesus, it's not like I can make my own fucking audio. I'm not a musician. I wish I was. Maybe one day I'll quit drawing and I'll be like, I'm gonna do music from now on. Because wow, I do love music. I guess that's why I'm, I'm into Renard and, and like Ken Ashcorp. I think I'll... I think my next illustration might be uh, Ken's uh, Panda persona character because that's a cute character as well uh, I probably won't do a lewd a lewd nudie a lewdy nude version of that yes this illustration here uh, has a nude variant the funny thing is that the previous version of this illustration that I made way back when I don't remember what year I made it in but it was long before I developed this new art style I keep I still say it's new but I've actually been using it for a long time now years now even but yeah, my old Mayhem illustration, uh, someone went and made nude variants of it. Two, two versions. One that was topless and then one that was totally nude. And uh, they're not bad. They're not bad. For ed as far as edits go, uh, they're not bad. They could have just asked me to do them and I would have done them myself. I would have. <laughs> but on this version I was like, eh. Eh, I'll not do it myself. 
it's not that difficult and it wasn't it only took me like half an hour extra to do the full nude variant I mean I made it different it was it was good it was fun this making this illustration uh, above anything else was fun and it's been a long time since I can genuinely say that drawing something uh, as complex as this has been fun uh, that being said, it's not like I hated making my comic or anything, it was just, it became a chore. It did become a chore, I'm not gonna pretend it wasn't absolutely exhausting towards the end. So, it feels a lot better to just do this kind of thing instead. I think I'm coming up to the line art being finished here, I don't know why I say I think I can see the timeline right in front of me, I know exactly when the line art finishes. Uh, but let's, let's just pretend I don't for the sake of the video. Mm -hmm. I fucked it all up now. Anyway, yeah, I'm pretty proud of my line art or where it's, where it's come. Uh, I think it's probably my strongest, uh, my strongest, uh, my, my strongest thing that I do. Yep, nailing it. And there we go with the very subtle, uh, fade into color. Uh, both of these clips, the, the line art and the coloring, which uh, I recorded separately. I, I'm trying more and more to record each section separately because there's always the chance that a file corrupts. I've had entire art videos not go anywhere because I recorded the whole thing perfect and I went to convert the footage and the file was corrupted. And I got nothing, absolutely no salvageable content. Uh, so I'm trying more and more to split things up just to have something if one of the files go uh, corrupts at least maybe I'll have another one you know if the line out gets corrupted at least I'll have the coloring to show but in this case fortunately uh, everything was fine unfortunately I always forget to hit the record button I did it both times in this clip for the line art you probably noticed at the beginning when we started, there was already some of the line art finished. That's because I already got through, a, I don't know, like 10, 15% of the line art, and I was like, shit. I should have hit record. God damn it, better hit that now and, and, and pretend, pretend everything's all right. And for the coloring, it was exactly the same. I already laid down, like, I don't know, 40% of the flats, which admittedly is pretty boring stuff, so I mean, you're not missing anything. <laughs> But then I was like, shit, I was supposed to record goddamn it twice in one night. I don't believe it. Two out of two times, that's 100% didn't hit record. Fortunately, I do hit record. I noticed pretty early on and saw the majority of the foot of the work that I did was recorded. And is, is here, you're watching it right now. Look, it's there. <laughs> wow, amazing. Uh, Mayhem's a pretty fun character. I I actually really like uh, really like drawing this character. I've drawn three shark anthros in my life, uh, and two of them were both Mayhem. <laughs> the other one was uh, my 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 friend Blake Shebreku. His uh, his character Karasu, the cowboy shark. I don't know why he's called Karasu. That means crow, not shark. It doesn't mean cowboy shark, Blake, you fool, you damn fool. You don't even know Japanese. <laughs> but yeah, the original Mayhem was like, eh, this looks like a thing. It's got a tongue, that's weird. Sharks don't have tongues. Well, they kind of do, but they don't work like that. It's not scientifically accurate. And admittedly, this one on on this on this mayhem shark, I still made some scientifically inaccurate uh, things on there. Sharks don't have fingernails. Uh, I mean, you look at any shark, uh, they they don't have fingernails. <laughs> I mean, that's just a fact. Come on, man. So whatever, slight slight inaccuracies there. But you know, otherwise, no problems. And yeah, when I so when I did uh, Karasu, the cowboy shark, he ended up looking like a fucking like a street shark, extreme dinosaur-looking motherfucker. 
Uh, it was cool though. It was cool though. He looked, he looked cool. He didn't look much like a shark, but he looked cool. And that's all that matters. That's all that matters. So shut up. <laughs> but yeah, I think I was saying before that Mayhem, Mayhem's a pretty cool design. I actually really, really dig this design above any of uh, Renard's other personas, and there's a lot of them. Jesus, there's a lot of them. Whew. Let's not even get started, but Mayhem just looks really good. I love the colors. I think that's all I can really say. She looks really good, and I love the colors, and that's enough to be a 10 out of 10 in my books. But it's, I mean, it's perfect colors. It's just that magenta, that simple neon magenta slash pink. It's kind of a pinky magenta. They're pretty much the same color, so who am I kidding? With the uh, the yellow green, the neon yellow green, just on the dark, on the dark, on the dark uh, clothing and uh, and dark hair. With the blue skin, it's fuck, it's perfect. Can't go wrong with that. Well done, I think. I think it was probably Squeege, who uh, who designed Mayhem. I'm not entirely sure, but she certainly did all the artwork back in the day. So uh, yeah, well done there. Well done. You did good. You made a good design. And here I am ruining everything with my filth. I can't. I come in here and I'm like, look, this tasteful, classy trash fan art. <clears throat> Classy trash fan art and nude versions to boot. <laughs> what a disgrace. Filth. Fucking love it. <laughs> uh, I love neon colors on characters. I think I'd like to do that more and more with characters. Because obviously in Hawkeye, all the characters follow the, an RBG. RG, that, that's the one. That last one there. That's the color settings they followed. <laughs> red, green, blue. Everything's red, green, blue. You know, Evaline is pure red, green, and blue. Uh, Yenage uh, is uh, blue. He's, he's admittedly he's got some yellow in there, but yeah, whatever. What whatever. Yellow is in between red and green, so sh shut up. But I, I'd like to do uh, the CMY color palette a lot more. Cyan, magenta, and yellow. Because it looks, looks really impressive. When you look at it, it's like, wow, those colors, they speak to me. Or something. I'm crazy. I guess that was my Christopher Walken impression. <laughs> I'm walking here. It's not very good. I probably couldn't do an abridged series where I have a Christopher Walken character. I'll just leave that to people. To other people. Purpose. People like that. People with actual skill. Unlike me. I just scribble on, on a computer screen. I hope something comes out. <sighs> Man, this is a pretty long video. I've been talking for nearly like 14 minutes now. And I've completely ran out of anything to say. So I guess what, what can I talk about? What I, let's talk about what's happening on the screen right now. How about that? We're on the coloring. We're actually getting uh, close to the final stages of coloring. Uh, mostly, my coloring just consists of... You put the flats down. Uh, you add some shadow to those flats. You add some highlights to those flats. Suddenly everything looks notably less flat. It's perfect. I'll tell you what, this picture is... <laughs> I was just looking at that there. This picture is not flat, if you know what I mean. <laughs> this is spherical volleyball. <laughs> yes. Okay. We're moving on now. We're moving on. But then after that, you know, because you've got the shadows and the highlights, uh, and that's that's really only two layers. The flats don't count as a, a layer of depth, really. A layer of, uh, of rendering. <laughs> Whatever the fuck that means. Uh, so usually I add a, a secondary layer of uh, highlights. Uh, often, if the sh if the initial shadows were just really uh, really initial, I'll add another layer of 
of shadows to really emphasize certain dark uh, spots on the image. I didn't do it on this one because this image is pretty brightly lit, so I was fine with just the initial, uh, initial, the first, the first pass of uh, shading. But I did add a lot of a lot of different highlights. It was the first highlight. Uh, a lot of the things have the secondary highlight, like uh, the skin mostly has a secondary highlight, which you can kind of see uh, on the leg and and the. Uh, the, the snout there <laughs> and then I would do a third highlight which would literally be just a white mark on there that the, the shinies basically a white mark with a with a kind of halo around it a colored halo set to a screen so that you can't really see it it just looks like it's a shiny shiny little shiny you stay shiny And then I ended up doing, how many highlight layers are we on now? I think it's four. And I did a fourth le 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 level of highlight. Best recording ever. No double takes. I don't think that's pro, no, t no second take. Jesus Christ, fuck it. Which, and the fourth level of highlights. <laughs> I'm distracted myself so much. Was just the, uh, the yellow, which, uh, I haven't put on yet, but you'll see it when it goes on. And that's just there to be like, look, the sunlight's reflecting off her skin, so shiny, wow. And then, how could I forget? There's another, there's a fifth level. I, how could I forget the fifth level? The fifth level of highlight is not actually a true highlight. It's actually part of the shading. It's the backlight, which again you can't see yet, but when you when it's on there, you'll you'll see it. You'll see it. And the backlight is really important. I think that's probably the most important thing that I do to really add that 3D rendered look to it. I love doing backlight. When I discovered backlighting, I was like, shit, I better backlight everything. Regardless of how lit or unlit it is, just slap that shit everywhere. Backlight everything. Backlight it all. It does look really good, though. Uh, if you if you guys are trying to figure out how to make your colored work, or even your black and white work, I guess I guess it could work. Just trying to add that level of depth to it. Backlighting. Take your, there it is, it's starting now, the backlighting is starting. You go to the shadowed parts, the parts that are in the dark, and you add a highlight to those parts. That's the backlight. Because it's not going to be pure dark. It's the middle of the day, there's going to be light everywhere, there's light reflecting off the sea behind her, which is why I did the, the, the backlight's blue. Because that's the, uh, that's what I'm trying to give the impression of, that the light is reflecting off the water that's behind her that you can't see yet, but you can see in the final image. You can't actually see it in this footage because I did the background later the next day because it was tired. It was like 3 a.m. or something, which isn't that late for a lot of people, but I've been trying to go to bed at midnight, trying to keep a sleep schedule. I fucked it all up with this. Good job, me. Thanks, Mayhem. Kept me up all night. Ah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. At some boob light, backlight, sorry. <clears throat> but yeah, this this piece ended up looking really good after all that highlighting, I'll tell you what. I'm pretty pleased with it. I haven't done a rendered piece like this in a long time. I guess technically the, the covers to the comic count, but I did those pretty quickly. You know, I didn't stay up to the 3 a.m. doing those. I tried to do those as quickly as possible because, whew, like I said, working on the comic, it's a little bit too much. So we're coming up to the end here. Uh, I rambled on a lot. I hope you guys didn't mind. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace. It's the most uncommon of all, as white is strictly limited to descendants of the frozen land across the Northern Sea. Most typically, Ursan will have yellow, brown, or black fur green, yellow, or sometimes orange eyes. However, we do see the oddly red coloration of Eric's children.